My name is Dr. Peter Vila and I'm a facial plastic surgeon. In this video, I'm going to be talking about something called a non-surgical rhinoplasty. Now, why would someone get a non-surgical rhinoplasty? As a rhinoplasty surgeon, I help patients make aesthetic changes to their nose. Now, some people just aren't good candidates for surgery either because they it's out of your budget or they just don't want surgery. This is where a non-surgical rhinoplasty, where I'm using filler to make changes to the nose, is actually a really nice fit. So the first question that always comes up is, is the procedure safe? I've heard about people going blind from this. Yes, this is actually true. The reason that can happen is because if you're injecting filler into the nose, if it gets into a blood vessel and that blood vessel happens to be the one going up into the eye, that can block that blood vessel and it's like a little mini stroke and people can go blind from that. Now, I have never seen that, but that is absolutely a thing and it has been reported. So the best way to avoid that is to just know where you're injecting and if you're going to inject into the nose, you need to be prepared to dissolve out the filler if there's a problem. So have I dissolved out filler? Absolutely. Have I ever had problems with blindness or necrosis of the skin where, again, you inject filler into the blood vessels and the skin can die off? No, I've personally never had that happen to one of my patients. However, I have seen patients referred to me that either injected filler themselves or someone else injected filler and they were sent to me to help dissolve the filler. Now, non-surgical rhinoplasty is one of those things where it's fairly easy to do if you know exactly where to inject, how to inject, and what the right technique is for injection. There's not a lot of people that fit all three of those boxes. So it's easy for me to do. I wouldn't say that it's an easy procedure to do. Now, for the patient, it is fairly straightforward. Basically, it's a quick injection. It takes me about maybe five, 10 minutes to do the procedure once we've kind of figured out what it is that you're looking for and made sure that you are a good candidate for the procedure. So can a non-surgical rhinoplasty actually make the nose smaller? So technically, no, we're making the nose bigger. However, it can look smaller because we can camouflage things like bumps or project the nose a little bit to make the tip a little more pointy and make it less droopy and it actually looks better. Not technically smaller, but it just fits better. And so facial harmony is really, really important to me and that's something that I focus on in all of my patients. So technically, no, we can't make the nose smaller. If you have a very small nose with a really big bump, sometimes you're just a better surgical candidate than a filler candidate. But that's why it takes consultation for us to talk through this so I can show you on your own photos hey, here's what we're dealing with, and I'll morph photos for patients and show you like, hey, here's what I can actually do with filler, and this would be a reasonable expectation. How long will the results last after a non-surgical rhinoplasty? So this differs. In some patients where you have really thick skin over the nose, it can take maybe six months until everything's kind of settled back in. And the reason is when you have thick skin like that, it's kind of the difference between having a down comforter on your bed versus a silk sheet. Patients with thin skin over the nose tend to be Caucasian. They have little silk sheets over their mattress. So if you inject filler, you really see the differences and they also tend to have very defined noses. So a little bit of filler goes a long way. For patients like Hispanic patients or African-American patients or Asian patients where you have very thick skin over the nose, there's the down comforter over the bed. Well, yes, in those cases, sometimes it takes a lot of filler to get the changes that we want and so those changes won't last as long. And in those patients, I do have to counsel them that it might only last six months. And in some patients, if you're really unlucky, maybe only a few months. So it really depends on the skin thickness as far as how long the procedure will last for you. But in most patients, it's about a year. Really thick skin patients, six to nine months. How much does this procedure cost? Now that is totally different and up to the provider that's doing this for you. I would highly recommend that you seek out a rhinoplasty surgeon to do this procedure. Why? because there are certain changes that rhinoplasty surgeons make all the time when we're doing surgery for the nose and you get used to dealing with the aesthetics of the nose. There are a lot of things that you look at from the side, from the bottom, from the top, straight on. It's a three-dimensional structure, so it's really important that you go to somebody who really understands the aesthetics of the nose. It's not easy. Just because you can inject filler doesn't mean you know how to do a non-surgical rhinoplasty. So how much does the procedure cost? That will be up to your injector. and so. It's important you know what you're getting when you pay for this procedure. Are you going to have photos that you can look at? Are you going to have previous patients that this injector has done? Are you going to have before and afters that you can have after your procedure is done? Will your injector morph the photos for you? These are all great questions to ask. The answer to all of those things is yes for me, but 
I'm only in Portland, Oregon, I'm not everywhere. So it is important for you to ask because you should know. So where can you get a non-surgical rhinoplasty? I'm happy to do it for you. If you're not located in the Portland, Oregon area or can't get over to me, find a rhinoplasty surgeon close to you and you can ask them, hey, do you do this procedure? A lot of people want to do this procedure, but again, I would recommend that you go to a rhinoplasty surgeon because of all the reasons I already explained. So here are some examples of patients that I have done. We'll go through these and talk about each patient, specifically what their goals were and show you what their results were. So this is a typical Asian nose where what you see is a very low radix or the top of the nose near the eyebrows. And also the tip is under projected, meaning it's not supported well enough. So it's a little bit droopy. It makes it look like she has a bump, but she doesn't actually have a bump. What she has is just a need for more support. And so with filler, this is a great procedure and a great patient for this procedure. So what we did for her is we put a little bit of filler up top near the bridge and a little bit of filler in the tip to bring the tip out. And this is a beautiful result for her. When you look from the front, you can see that there's not a dramatic change, but those two little white dots that are reflecting light back at us. What we see in the after photo is that they are closer together, which means that we have gotten it a little more pointy or a little more projected. This is a good example of a Caucasian nose where she's just got a low radix also, and it makes it look like she has a bump. She also has a fairly Roman nose profile where the bridge of the nose is kind of goes, just goes straight into the tip. So she wanted a little more of a cute tip, so we put a little bit of filler in the tip, and we brought up the radix as well to make the nose look much straighter, and she was obviously very happy with this result. When you look from the front, you can see, now you really see that shiny point on the tip because the tip has been brought out, and you can just see that the bridge of the nose is also a lot straighter. Now this is another great example of how powerful a non-surgical rhinoplasty can be. This particular patient had a bit of a scooped dorsum and this is not from surgery. She actually injured her nose when she was younger and it grew like this. She wanted a very straight bridge and so we talked about her options and we decided on doing a non-surgical rhinoplasty. What you can see we did here is we straightened it out and we also brought the tip out a little bit just to give a little bit better projection of the tip. So great example of this procedure. My name is Dr. Peter Vila and I'm a facial plastic surgeon and I will catch you on the next video.